If it comes down to the choice, I think I'd choose the grave. Hey everyone, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense, and uh, the Biden administration, you just, you got to appreciate the absolute raw police state ferocity out of these people. Uh, so the, the latest ridiculousness, they are now going to try to uh, consider using or hiring or something with private firms, I put that in quotes, uh, to um, monitor, also in quotes, extremists. Okay, so, you know, basically they're going to start setting up a police state to crush their political opposition. This is a story as old as human history. Group A gets the power of the state, they seize the power of the state, and they use its resources, namely its money and its military slash policing forces, to crush their political opposition. That's a story as old as time. Uh, it's what happened in Rome. Uh, it's what happened in China when they outlawed all other political parties except the Chinese Communist Party. It's what happened in Nazi Germany. It's what happened in the USSR. Like this, this is not a new thing. It's it's, it's very specifically a communist uh, tactic that that they've used quite effectively, quite often. But you seize the power of the state, and then you use that power of the state to crush your political opposition so that they no longer exist. Uh, and you can then do whatever you want. It is the road to tyranny, and we are well on our way. So now is the time to say something, if you've got a problem with that. This, this all comes right on the heels of an article I read a couple weeks ago here. I'll try to link it in the description and maybe post a little picture over here of uh, the post office spying on people that they think are extremists and then reporting their like social media posts to the FBI, the post office. They can't even get you your mail on time, but somehow they have free time to look at your social media posts and report you to the FBI if you're suspicious. And of course, it's all people that are center of right, right? These are the extremists that they're worried about. That's why in Biden's uh, address recently to Congress, he used the word insurrection a bunch, right? He wanted to really hype up this insurrection and this fear and this danger of these extremists. And all they mean are people that don't politically agree with me, people that are right of what I deem as center. That's what they're saying. Anybody to the right of me is a political extremist and is dangerous. And the best thing we have to do is we have to control these dangerous extremists before they cause an insurrection and threaten our democracy. That's, that's their line. And that's what they're going to keep pushing until everybody's just like, well, yeah, I guess so. I guess we've got to monitor people. And then the police state is full in swing and everybody who's on the right is either heading to the gulag or the grave. That's where it's going. That's where it's going. Un unless we're able to stand up now and hopefully avoid that, that's where this is going to go. Make no mistake about it. Uh, if, you're, if you're watching this and you're thinking, oh, that won't happen, you need to open your eyes and read a history book. Just again, just one, just any one of any of those places where a political party seizes power and then uses the power to crush political opposition. It has happened time and time again throughout human history. It will continue to happen until Jesus comes back. That's just the nature of the human condition. The question for you right now is whether or not you're going to allow that to happen in your country in your lifetime. That's it. That's it. This is the last stop before things get much, much worse. So if we don't stand up and say and try to do something now, what makes you think you're going to do something later? The time for saying something and for being brave and doing something is right now. This is going to get worse before it gets better, I fear. And I can guarantee you it's going to get worse unless we stop this thing right now. If the Biden administration or whatever presidential administration starts using the power of the state to crush their political opposition, that's the end of America as we know it. Do brave deeds right now. Share this video, write your congressperson, call your senator, make your state pass laws to, you know, outlaw this kind of thing. Do something now. Otherwise, we're going to have to endure what comes next. And I guarantee you that's going to be a whole lot less fun.